Well, hi there, partner. What's up? I ain't got any local weed. Oh, shucks, no. I got something better. It's Fat Radio. Here, listen. Good evening, everybody. This is Gunfrat. Let me know I'm Gilfrat. I come in with that for the fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. That's all there is to that. You might think it etiquette to say that I am heavy set or just big bone. You want a bet? I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat. Maybe this has happened to you. You're in a public place, lots of people around, and all at once you feel that familiar cramp that means you have to find a restroom, and fast. The trouble is there's not one around, so what do you do? Most of the time you just have to suffer. But a brand new product makes all that discomfort unnecessary. It's a portable convenience that fits into pocket or purse for those times when you need fast relief and there isn't a facility nearby. The Johnny in Your Pocket is a product of America's space research program. Just use it once and throw it away. It's that simple. There's always some convenient disposal place, a potted plant maybe, or one of those big ashtrays filled with sand. Once you've known the convenience of Johnny in Your Pocket, you'll never be without it. Ask for it at better drug stores everywhere. We don't know. Hi, my name is Jeannie and I work for the phone company. We don't know. Hello, I'm Larry and I work for the phone company. We don't know. I'm Nancy and I don't know what I'm doing. We don't know what we're doing. When you work for the only phone company in town, you don't have to know what you're doing. And there's really nothing anybody can do about it. You can try to complain, but you probably won't get through. The phone company. We don't know what we're doing. Another message you're paying for from the only phone company in town. The phone company. Turn on that radio and back in. The cops ain't likely to catch up with us, not tonight. So we can all be quiet and peaceable and have a few beers together and listen to the music. K-F-A-T Editorial. Hello, this is Attila the Hun with another fat editorial. It's nothing new to point out that there are fashions in ideas just as there are in clothing or any other styles. In our time, many people win easy points for having a social conscience when all they're doing is falling in line with everyone else. A choice example of this, we think, is the uniformly bad press that pollution is getting. Now, we're not talking about those who compare pollution itself with the value of industries that produce it. We're talking about pollution, period. What some of these critics choose to overlook is that pollution in itself is a multi-million dollar industry. Who ever heard of Barry Commoner before he started writing about pollution? Damn few, we'd guess. And what about all the books that he and other alarmists have cranked out in the past few years? Publishers may pat themselves on the back for their social awareness, but those customers' dollars still come in mighty handy when the bills fall due. There's even a large and flourishing bureaucracy in Washington, the EPA, that owes its entire existence to pollution. If pollution were wiped out in our lifetimes, which is what some of them claim to want, many of those same paper pushers would have to hit the bricks in search of honest work, the one thing the entrenched bureaucrat fears most. Even if it did nothing but keep those people out of circulation in society, pollution would be worth every penny it's costing us. So next time you take a deep breath and fall gasping to the sidewalk, stop and think. It may be killing you, but it's life itself to thousands of others. This has been an editorial viewpoint by Fat Radio. If you're interested in additional ideas on this subject, please don't contact the station. Sit under a bridge with a six-pack and think up your own half-baked notions. Informed sources in Kremlin report today Fat Radio is subversive capitalist influence. KFAT listeners will be purged after spring thaw. Heard it! Go to the same old amusement park cookie dogs, are you? Huh? Well, try my place. Meadley's. I say bull to the mechanical bronc. Mustache rides. That's where it's at. Wild mustache rides. Sure to tickle your fancy. Ladies, not always with a complimentary glass of wine. 
dance all night to the sounds of punk country recording artists Plod Buster and Sod Turner. No cover, just bring sheets. That's Mead Leaves with a wild mustache ride, not computerized, non-polluting, highly degrading. Mead Leaves just off at a Huska above the vacant lot. Open, you bet. Not this record! Not this record! Not this record! <laughs> You've just had a heavy session of electroshock therapy, and you're more relaxed than you've been in weeks. All those childhood traumas magically wiped away, along with most of your personality. Now is the time, time for Spud. Oh, Spud! Filled with the full, rich flavor of potatoes. Spud, the beer brewed for people who can't taste the difference. When you say Spud, just put your mind on hold, do what you're told, and open a coat. Refreshing spot, just watch your life go by, no need to try, when you've got spot. Oh, spot. Spot, the beer that made Boise famous. Let's check in with the fat swami. Come on, fatness. Rub his tummy here. And now it's time to check in with his holy fatness, the swami of Silicon Valley. Swami, what yes. do you see in 82? I see tons and tons of volume, fatness everywhere. 1982 is truly the year of the fat. Yes. Well, what I want to know is, how does one get fat? There are many ways in the spirit world that we have of attaining vast quantities of fatness. Eating is only one of them. You can have some of this cream pie if you wish, my friend. It's very fat. Does a person have to listen to K-Fat to get fat? No, but it sure helps. Let me tell you, it puts you in a fat place. Because this is the year of the fat. Yum, yummy, yum. I find there's nothing like getting up in the morning and running around the block for an hour. Really stirs things up and gets that heart pumping and the blood racing through those arteries. Of course, you can get the same effect watching dirty movies. And if you join today, we'll send the following instruction books absolutely free. How to do everything at once. How to give people your best regards. How to spoil other people's fun. How to kill a rat with an oboe. How to wave goodbye without moving your arms. How to spot truly vicious people in church. How to get back from Boston. How to lease out the space inside your nose. How to get a tan with a flashlight. How to start a range war. How to spot a creep from a distance. How to give a king a really hard time. How to kill your nephew. How to become a grease ball. And how to turn unbearable pain into ex extra income. So call now, right now. Join the book club today. Just give me a jug of white lightning, a little fillet and suck a chrome off a trailer hitch, and fat radio, and I'm doing fine. <laughs> to remind you that you are listening to KFAT, Gilroy, California, 94 and a half on your FM dial. This is Rogers and Bergen doing what we do best here. The Internal Revenue Service reminds all male taxpayers that Peter tax time is upon them and that they must file special federal tax return form 4638 no later than the 31st of this month. In compliance with recently enacted federal legislation, all males will be taxed according to length. Males with 10 to 12 inches will be required to pay a luxury tax, 8 to 10 inches a poll tax, 6 to 8 inches a privilege tax, 4 to 6 inches will be assessed a nuisance tax, while taxpayers under 4 inches may apply for a refund. IRS cautions that requests for extensions cannot be granted at this time. Supplies of Form 4638 and the free IRS publication 582, Federal Peter Tax Use, providing additional information and instructions, are available at your local IRS office.
what I believe. I believe in rainbows and puppy dogs and fairy tales. And I believe in eight of the Ten Commandments. And I believe in going to church every Sunday unless there's a game on. And I believe that sex is one of the most beautiful, wholesome, and natural things that money can buy. Well, hello there. My name is Idi Amin Dada Esquire, and MBO, PDQ, and PHND. I'm the ruler of that ever-popular tourist paradise, Uganda, where the flying fishes even come to play. And I'm here to tell you about a new product that my country is offering to you, the consuming public, to help the ever-unbalanced payments and trading. I'm talking about the all-new Idi Amin hot tub. That's right. The genius of yours truly, plus the finest scientific talents of the entire Uganda nation, gone into producing what we think of as the best hot tub on the market. We don't mess around with none of that damn redwood business. These pots, I mean these tubs, is solid cast on, guaranteed to take some plenty hot water. Idi Amin hot tubs will hold up to five full grown-up adults, plus a little room for some of the children, and lots of vegetables and onion and salt. Take my word for it. There's nothing like getting in an Idi Amin hot tub. You put one of these items outside your ranch style split level, and you're going to have all the neighbors whipping off the clothes like the familiar gangbusters and jumping in and making themselves comfortable. You put some ferns around this tub, and it's going to look plenty inviting. So if the high price of the food bill been getting you down, just think of the modest proposal from Uncle Edie, since we neighbors let's be friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. AJ Kill, this Monday night on the Fat Fry. After midnight, we're gonna let it all hang out. She don't lie, she don't lie, she don't lie. Cocaine. Appearing with JJ Kale will be singer-songwriter Jesse Colin Young. This hesitation. Lord, you are a sweet temptation. Darkness, darkness. Be my pillow. Ah, what a combo. And it's all for you, fatties, at the new home of the Fat Fry, the Saddle Rack, California's largest nightclub. It's J.J. Kale and Jesse Colin Young, Monday night. City girls, they all right. They just want you for tonight. You seen the sunlight pouring through her head. Tickets are $6 in advance or on sale right now at all bass outlets, including Sears, and the Saddle Rack on Osiree between Race and Meridian and San Jose. It's the Fat Fry with J.J. Kale, Jesse Colin Young, and Butch Hancock, Monday night. Sounds like a real good one. Show's getting underway around 7 o'clock tomorrow, and I hope to see you there. We got one more message, and then we're going to get back to a real fine recording by the folks down at Bodacious Audience. We brought you Hiroshima, and you loved Nagasaki. Now we're proud to announce a new concept for the nuclear age. The Neutron Bomb. With features available only on these new American brand warheads, many third world nations are already switching from the leading brand. Take, for example, its unique destruction feature. The Neutron Bomb is designed to destroy people instead of property. Thanks to our new exclusive process called Fortified Radiation, the Neutron Bomb is guaranteed to destroy all life in the target area within 48 hours or your money cheerfully refunded. And talk about convenience. The Neutron Bomb is small enough to be fired from an 8-inch artillery piece. Why pay for bulky and expensive bombers when a single cannon can do the job? Think of the money you'll save when you deploy American brand Neutron Bombs. They lower the cost per casualty and assure a 95% rehabilitation rate as soon as the prior occupants have been properly buried. Suffer the lowest rate of property value decline. Sure, hydrogen bombs are nice, but the Neutron Bomb saves you the hassle of and expense of rebuilding those countries you've conquered. Write us today. Dealer inquiries are invited. The world leader in atomic warfare supply since 1945. The pioneers of the nuclear age, the United States Department of Defense. Oiga, señor, we are federales. You know, the mountain police. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges.
We'll cover you against fire and flood. Way ho endowment. But not riots, war, nor act of God. Way ho endowment. Over a period of 30 years. Way ho endowment. Unless, of course, you're in arrears. Way ho and up your premium. What's for breakfast? Well, besides eggs, juice, toast, and milk, tomorrow morning, why not try a new taste treat from the wide selection of Aunt Sophie's natural jams and jellies? Since 1976, Aunt Sophie has been making natural homemade jams and jellies with tender, loving care. Aunt Sophie uses all natural ingredients, 100% natural flavors, 100% natural refined sugar, 100% natural polysorbate 80 preservative, and 100% natural red dye number two. And talk about purity. Why, even the government-allowed percentage of insect parts and larvae are uncontaminated with pesticides. Choose your favorite flavor from the Aunt Sophie line, including delicious ragweed jam, tarweed jelly, goldenrod marmalade, and milkweed preserves. And if you're tired of plain old ordinary maple syrup on your pancakes or waffles, try one of Aunt Sophie's syrups in one of four mouth-watering flavors, pine, birch, Douglas fir, or redwood. As the late Ewell Gibbons would have said, be sure of natural goodness. Look for Aunt Sophie's smudged thumbprint on the lid of every jar. Look for Aunt Sophie's natural jams and jellies in the paint section of better hardware stores everywhere. And if you join today, we'll send the following books absolutely free. Poems for the Insane, A Treasury of Poorly Understood Ideas, Apartment Hunting for Devil Worshippers, A Complete List of All the Things That Are Still Pending. Say, my wife got a new diet now. Coconuts and bananas. Mickey Gilly. Can't roll any way for she climb a tree. Hey, Johnny, what do you know? Well, Mickey, I know honky tonk. Yeah? And I know women. <laughs> I'll say you do. And I know beer. You know beer? Yep. I bet I tasted every beer in the country at least once. Well, what do you know? I know one thing. The beer that hits the spot for me is slips. Behind every slips is a man who knows beer. Ask a man who knows how he picked this one here. Cause he's tasted the risk And the taste makes it clear Behind every slip Is a man who knows beer Behind every slip Is a man who knows his beer Hey, Johnny, pour me a tall, cold slip, will you? Now there's a man who knows Behind every slip Is a man who knows his beer Joseph Slitz Brewing Company, Milwaukee. Hi, hi there, friends and neighbors. This is your old pal, El Monte Slim, telling you to come on down here to White Track Town, Wilmington. Damn, we got some out of sight bargains here for you in cars. And listen, for the first 10,000 you people to come on down here today, we got free sandwiches and coffee. If you haven't done your clothes, bring them on down because we got free washers and dryers. Now, look here, you're probably wondering how to get here. Well, you take any freeway and get off at the Wilmington Cutoff. You go 9 to 7 miles straight till you come to a north and a south. You don't want to go south, you want to go north. Head on straight north till you come to the Tasty Freeze. Make a right and go 9 to 7 miles straight till you come to the Standard Station. Go right in that Standard Station, walk up to the man and say, Where the hell am I? Hey, Mom and Dad, and you kids, too. Brand new from Malice of Forethought Toys and just in time for Xmas. It's the new rage in fun family games, Survival. Yes, Survival, the game that pits you, Mom and Dad, against your kitties in a savage struggle for survival right in the privacy of your own home. Survival, where it's you, Mom and Dad, pitted against the cunning and latent homicidal tendencies of your children. Survival, the new action-packed parlor game from Malice of Forethought Toys that turns your house into a hate-filled jungle of fatal traps, ambushes, and pitfalls in a fight to the finish. Winner take all. And we mean all. Learn how to fill Junior's football with deadly M30 mustard gas. Learn how to plant plastic explosive in the chain of daughter's two-wheeler. Find out the easy way to wire the cookie jar with 220 volts. And kids, <laughs> we haven't forgotten you either. Mom and Dad will grumble in fear when you don the survival midnight commando outfit, blacken your face, and slip a fresh clip into your genuine M15 rifle. And to keep all of you off balance, there's the survival game toss-up cards, which entitle winners to set loose things in the house like quicksand, bubonic plague germs, or puff adders. Game comes complete with 50 caliber machine gun, landmines, deadly spears, poison tips extra, maps of escape routes in case you're trapped in cellar or garage, a booklet titled Disarming Your Loved Ones for Fun and Profit, last will and testament forms, and in case the going gets really tough, a white surrender flag and the local Red Cross number. Use the game to recreate your own versions of other fun-filled examples of Christmas spirit like Belfast or Dachau. 
Make it a Christmas to remember or dismember with a new down to it family fun game survival from Malice of Forethought Toys. No batteries, Mom, and no sharp edges, and guaranteed by Good House Breaking. As a musician, J.J. Kale is legendary for writing songs like After Midnight and Cocaine. But while everybody may know him, many have never heard him. Introducing the J.J. Kale album to change that. Grasshopper. sounds like grasshopper the long-awaited new album from jj kale on mercury marketed by polygram records on sale for just 5.99 a tower be sure to see jj kale at the saddle rack on june 28th in san jose and remember tower records they've got your music open till midnight every day of the year mickey gilly and johnny lee for slips Hey, Johnny, what do you know? Well, Mickey, I know honky tonk. Yeah? And I know women. <laughs> I'll say you do. And I know beer. You know beer? Yep. I bet I tasted every beer in the country at least once. Well, what do you know? I know one thing. The beer that hits the spot for me is Slips. Behind every Slips is a man who knows beer. Ask a man who knows how he picked this one here. Cause he's tasted the risk. And the taste makes it clear Behind every slip is a man who knows beer Behind every slip is a man who knows his beer Hey, Johnny, pour me a tall, cold slip, will you? Now there's a man who knows Behind every slip is a man who knows his beer Joseph Slips Brewing Company, Milwaukee when it comes to service, Lewis Volkswagen says... Yes, we can save your money. Yes, we can finance your car. Yes, we can and we'll provide you with the greatest deal by far. Yes, that Lewis Volkswagen buying is just the beginning of a beautiful friendship. When it comes to service, we do more than them other guys. We treat you like you were a king or queen. And besides treating you good, we do great service. Come on in for your service work and see the man that do it better. Lewis Volkswagen, a dealer who backs up what to sell, and they do it every day. If you buy a car from anybody before you check with Lewis Volkswagen, you're going to end up saying, oh, no, I shouldn't have done it. See the men who say, yes, we can. Lewis Volkswagen, greatest deals in this here land and service, too. Yes, we can, and we'll provide you with the greatest deal by far. See Jack Lewis and Lewis Volkswagen, 1800 Sacal Avenue in Santa Cruz from tune-up to overhaul. They say, yes, we can do it better. See them today. When you go to market for your investment vehicle, stop by the friendly folks at Lewis Volkswagen, 1800 Socal Avenue in Santa Cruz. Tell KFAT Gilroy, the people's choice. My name is David Hayes, and I hang around the OK Club on Monterey Street, and I just don't listen to KFAT. Oh, we must. Hello, fatties. This is KFAT in Gilroy. It's time once again for a fat flash. And now here's your news. Well, William O'Neill, the undercover informer for the FBI who spied on the Black Panther Party in the late 1960s, revealed in court this week that he is still on the FBI's payroll. O'Neill, who is testifying in a civil trial in Chicago, admitted under questioning that he's been receiving $1,100 a month from the Bureau for at least the past 15 months. He added that he uses the money for subsistence and does nothing in return for the payments. O'Neill is being questioned about his possible role in the shooting deaths of Illinois Black Panther leaders Fred Hampton and Mark Clark, who were killed during a police raid in 1969. Survivors of that raid have filed a $47 million damage suit against police and FBI officials, contending the two leaders were executed as part of the FBI's COINTEL program aimed at destroying the Black Panther Party.
O'Neill said under questioning that he was the person who told the FBI about the guns being stored in Hampton's apartment, the alleged reason for the police raid. He added, however, that he also told the FBI the apartment was usually vacant during the day. Black Panther attorneys say that a daytime raid instead of the pre-dawn attack would have avoided bloodshed. According to earlier testimony, O'Neill supplied the FBI with a floor plan of the apartment that was used by the raiding party. Hampton was shot to death by police in his bed, the location of which was clearly marked on the map. A University of Toronto researcher may have poked holes in some of the myths about acupuncture. Western scientists have thus far been baffled about how the ancient oriental practice of inserting tiny needles in the skin to reduce or even eliminate pain works. Now Dr. Bruce Pomerantz is out with the suggestion that acupuncture works by activating a natural pain suppression chemical in the brain. Pomerantz says that the acupuncture needles seem to stimulate nerves deep in the muscle causing the brain to release a chemical called endorphin, a recently discovered natural painkiller in the body which is 200 times more potent than morphine. Endorphin works, the researcher says, by chemically preventing the cells in the brain from feeling pain. Pomerantz says if his research proves to be true, it would totally disprove a common Western theory about acupuncture which suggests that the ancient practice merely psychologically distracts people from pain. Paul McCartney and Wings are teaming up with the creator of Star Trek to make a feature-length film about an outer space invasion of the Earth. Gene Roddenberry, the creator of the hit television series about the Starship Enterprise, is currently writing the script for the science fiction movie. Wings guitarist Jimmy McCulloch says that the movie will be shot beginning early next year in both Britain and the United States. Says McCulloch, it's the band's number one project at the time. The only other movies in which McCartney has appeared are Hard Day's Night, Help, and Let It Be, all with the other three former Beatles. And finally, President Idi Amin of Uganda has told a Chicago newspaper that he would like to be king of the United States. Chicago Sun-Times columnist Bob Green reports that he was sitting around in the city room last Tuesday and decided to call up Idi Amin in Uganda for an interview. To Green's surprise, Amin came on the line. During the telephone chat, Amin told Green that although he is interested in becoming king of Scotland, he also would like to rule the U.S. Said the Ugandan leader, I I would like to be king of the United States. If the American people want me, I will come over there and be king. Amin reported that he is a great admirer of Jimmy Carter. He is quoted as telling Green, I love Jimmy Carter very much. He is a very great revolutionary. The Ugandan president also revealed that he has abandoned his plans to build a statue in Uganda saluting Adolf Hitler. According to Amin, the statue idea was scrapped after it was learned that Hitler was in favor of discrimination against black people. Green says that anyone interested in chatting with Amin can reach him at Antebi 2241. This has been A Fat a Flash. This is Slim Pickens reminding you to stay fat with K Fat. Mom said you wanted to see me? Yes. Close the door and sit down. I understand you've been walking a girl home from school lately. That blonde who lives down the street. Uh, yeah, um, her name's Taffy. Well, son, you're getting to the age when there are certain facts you should know about. Facts? Yes, the facts of life. You mean the birds and the bees? That's important. But here, this can describe it better. Come on there by my radio. I spilled K. F. A child. Hey, child, that spells caveman. I'm talking about caveman. Could it be free trips to Cucamonga that makes Lewis Volkswagen's new car showroom the most exciting one in town? Or could it be a concert pianist? Hello, Jack Lewis for Lewis Volkswagen. It's none of those things that make Lewis Volkswagen of Santa Cruz the most exciting car dealership in the entire Monterey Bay area. I have something even better, the most fuel-efficient cars on the road today. And at Lewis Volkswagen in Santa Cruz, you can be sure of getting straightforward, knowledgeable sales assistance from the people who are sincerely interested in seeing you get the right car at the right price. 
At Lewis Volkswagen, we also make it possible for you to lease a new 1982 Volkswagen Rabbit with no money down. And we also offer you the finest selection of used cars you'll find anywhere. Because the trade-ins we get on new Volkswagens are from people who really care about their cars. So pay us a visit today and find out for yourself why nothing else is a Lewis Volkswagen. 1800 Soquel Avenue, Santa Cruz. All right, this is Felton Pro sitting in on this Sunday evening on KFAT 94 and a half. And, uh, boy, I enjoyed it. You know, I got to see about the first four songs of that live at the show Monday night. Then I had to run out and get here. So it was a real treat. Welcome aboard Mahalo Airlines Flight 513 to Wailuku, Hana, and Denver. You may unfasten your seatbelts at this time. We do ask, however, that you observe the no smoking sign to minimize the chances of blowing up while in the air. Our flight today is under the command of Captain Blaze Robello. At this time, our lovely stewardesses would like to acquaint you with the safety feature on board should we run out of luck. <laughs> Joke. There are four emergency exits on our 767 Super Delta aircraft. Two are located in the front of the cockpit. The other two are located at the rear of the cockpit. For your safety, a package of party balloons is provided directly under your seats in the event we plummet headlong into the raging surf below. Simply blow up the balloons, tie them with string, and fasten them to your arms. Our full-length feature movie today is Airport 79, a stirring account of a stewardess's heroism to collect the air sickness bags and is rewarded in the end a fruit basket by the airlines. We will be arriving in Wailuku in approximately 45 minutes. If there are any questions, ask one of our cheerful stewardesses. Have a pleasant flight. We hope your stay on Kauai is enjoyable, memorable, and unaffected by the recent hotel murders which have occurred on the island. On behalf of the captain and the crew, thank you for flying Mahalo Airlines. KFAT Gilroy. For all you what kind of out music there. do you usually uh, have? This is Ray Nelson. Oh, Keep it tuned to We got here. country and western. You ever been looking through the refrigerator and you come across an empty plate? Boy, that starts me to wondering. Did something eat something else? Hey, this is Gallery Thomas, and I just want to say, KFAT Radio is okay. Keep listening. Han, the Pattersons are coming over, and we only have about enough grass left to roll one joint. Oh, that's okay, Ted. I'll just mix it up real good with this. Hey, what are you doing? I'm Making marijuana helper. Marijuana helper? That's right. With Pillsburger's new marijuana helper, there'll be enough of this Colombian to go around for everybody. And look, marijuana helper makes our dope look as rich and potent as the best red bud. Marijuana helper. Now you can get as much as three ounces from every ounce you buy, thanks to Pillsburger's new marijuana helper. Honey, you're a genius. There. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Pillsburger's new marijuana helper. From the makers of Angel Dust Cake, Pillsburger. It really worked. This is Gigi with Deadly Ernest and the Honky Tonk Heroes at KFAT Radio, home of the Garlic Ladies, Gilroy, California. 94 and a half on your FM, if it works. It's here. It's now. It's hot. Just in time for the long, hard winter. It's the new 1983 DeLorean Snowmobile. If you've been sniffing the wind, looking for the latest in speedy rigs, get a whiff of real excitement. The DeLorean Snowmobile. Don't be just another flake. And for the high country, the razor's edge. The DeLorean Snowmobile. This is the big time with a 220-pound payload, a stainless steel finish as smooth as a mirror, a phone to call your attorney. 
Don't delay. Call your dealer today. The DeLorean Snowmobile. The Colombian import that blows the competition away. The DeLorean Snowmobile. Base price $24 million. $5 million down includes special dealer prep and dealer plates. And if you join today, we'll send the following books absolutely free. Poems for the Insane, A Treasury of Poorly Understood Ideas, Apartment Hunting for Devil Worshippers, A Complete List of All the Things That Are Still Pending. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, and all the rest of you, too. Uh, Live in Government Inflicted Simulation, it's the fat one, Gilroy, KFAT, Gilroy. We're Consolidated International, and we might be looking for you. Are you one of those people who show up, punch in, pitch in, put out, clean up, punch out, head home, throw up, turn in, sack out, and shut up? That's what we need. People we can keep in line. We may have a place for you. Consolidated International. People making things so people have things to do things to other people with. And thinking up more things to do with the stuff we have. K-F-A-T Editorial. Hello, this is Jack Daniels with another fat editorial. These are loose living times, and it's not often that someone will come up to us and tell us to straighten out and change our ways. Even if someone tries, we just tend to make unfriendly gestures in that direction and go right back to what we were doing in the first place. Advances in scientific knowledge have provided us with ways our ancestors never knew to obtain new and startling views of reality, if there is such a thing. But let's leave that to the philosophers. High-powered chemistry may be fine for some, but in our opinion, it will never replace the ancient process of fermentation or the timeless arts of distilling, aging, and blending. All of which brings us to our main point. We don't have much use for the idea of temperance or for those who advocate it. For those of you who have never heard the word, it may simply be defined as staying off the sauce. Most of those who preach temperance actually mean total abstinence, so the message always comes out the same. Stay off the sauce, they say. Sometimes in language you can understand, sometimes not. We say that doing some things are worth doing more than a little at a time, or every so often. And we think bending the elbow is one of those things. Temperance, you say? Hell no, we reply. Fill her up. Last call? Never heard of it. Temperance? Hey, fella, you look like you could use a drink. This has been another in a series of editorial viewpoints from Fat Radio. The station management comments regularly on subjects of public interest and indignation. Logic and coherence are entirely optional, slightly higher east of the Sierras. Hi, this is Ellen McElwain, and you are listening to the fattest radio around. Get ready to tap your feet. Ooh, such a cute little baby. But where'd she get those baby blue eyes? Oh, didn't I tell you? She got them from man in a can. It's the latest in artificial insemination. And there's nothing artificial about those big baby blues. Yes, ladies, man in a can. It's the greatest in artificial insemination. And with man in a can, you choose the eyes, you choose the size, and even the guys. So don't beg for romance. That's taking a chance. Your little progeny deserve the best genealogy that money can buy, and it's your guarantee of having a beauty instead of a beast. So look for the can with a man in a can. Comes with a long list of donors that reads like the who's who of thoroughbred males and an easy-to-use patented king-size stud sickle insert that melts in your body, not in your hands. So keep them alive, then watch them thrive, and you'll cherish the day your baby arrives with man in a can. For the woman who knows what she puts in her body is what her body puts out. Join the book club. As an introductory offer, we'll send you the following books absolutely free. Eat, run, stay fit, and die anyway. How to seem intelligent. There's big money in staying put. Peace of mind by losing complete control for 16 hours a day. Your thighs control your life. How to fillet a panda. Rid yourself of doubt, or should you? How to give yourself a complete physical without getting undressed. 64 good reasons for giving up hope. Why Jews point. A hundred dead people nobody misses. Backpacking for shut-ins. My dog is a real fruit. Your shoes are worth money. Reorganizing your pockets. What to wear on the toilet. 124 simple exercises for the teeth. The stains in your shorts can indicate your future. Self-mutilation as an attention getter. 600 ways to give people the shaft. Tremble your way to fitness. You give me six weeks and I'll give you some disease. Does your stereo system sound like this? <laughs> or like this? <laughs> or maybe it sounds like this. <laughs> Well, the chances are that it's only a bad thermistor in the IF section. Or maybe only a mismatched cucaracha in the Framistat. 
Well, whatever your stereo problems may be, bring your ailing stereo system into us at Cutthroat Electronics. Our trained service personnel will diagnose the problem and have your stereo back on its feet in no time at all. But should the coroner's inquest prove that the unit is beyond help, talk to one of our friendly salespersons who can steer you to our complete line of 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24, or 32 track reel to reel tape machines, or any one of our lower price cassette units, or a new phase linear amplifier, or maybe even a set of AT7 voice of the theater speaker systems. Cutthroat Electronics has what you need for your home stereo system sales, service, and parts. Come see us today at Cutthroat Electronics, right down the alley from the United Bank in Cupertino. Ah, uh, a double cheeseburger, uh, onion rings, and a uh, large orange drink, please. A cheeseburger, a fried one, a Did you get my order? That's one more cheeseburger, and one onion ring, and one onion ring. And one onion ring. A double cheeseburger, onion rings, and a large orange. Okay? Another onion ring, another orange, and another large orange, and another large orange, and another large orange, and another large orange. No, cheeseburger. A double cheeseburger, onion rings, and a large orange drink. Another onion ring, another, another cheeseburger, that's... Three cheeseburgers and another large orange. That's three orange. Listen, you stupid clown! A double cheeseburger! And if you join today, we'll send the following instruction books absolutely free. How to do everything at once. How to give people your best regards. How to spoil other people's fun. How to kill a rat with an oboe. How to wave goodbye without moving your arms. How to spot truly vicious people in church. How to get back from Boston. How to lease out the space inside your nose. How to get a tan with a flashlight. How to start a range war. How to spot a creep from a distance. How to give a king a really hard time. How to kill your nephew. How to become a greaseball. And how to turn unbearable pain into extra extra income. So call now, right now. Join the book club today. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Dennis. And this is Ray. From Dr. Hook, right. reminding you that you're listening to the Fat One, KFAT 94.5 FM in Gilroy. Right. You got that right, Dennis. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, hi there, partner. What's up? I ain't got any local weed. Aw, oh, shucks, no. I got something better. It's Fat Radio. Here, listen. This is Bill Murray from Saturday Night Live, and if you don't listen to KFAT and Gilroy, I want you to get out of here and admit it. You knucklehead. Get lost. I know. <laughs> Stupid enough. And if you join today, we'll send the following books absolutely free. A list of people who mean well. Don't throw away your old skin. Ten things we don't know yet. Caring for the seated. The wrong underwear can kill. Trotting across Zaire. Why it doesn't snow anymore. The complete list of everyone's personal effects. Six cities no one has ever been to. I gave up hope and died and it worked. Famous people who were wiry. The lives of six extremely short saints. And these books on food are yours. The Intravenous Cookbook, The Meaning of Corn, Fill Your Life with Croutons, The Food Coloring Diet, Cooking for the Paralyzed, Cooking with Heat. And if you join today, we'll send the following books absolutely free. Controlling Fear Without Getting Frightened, Things No One Can Help, Understanding People You'll Never Meet, Marriage for One, Let's Change the Alphabet, Sport Fishing with Power Saws, Why Hawaii and Norway Are Not Near Each Other, I'm a ballroom fighter and a ballroom dancer and a lover extraordinaire connoisseur of alcoholic beverages and Indian medicines and radio waves. And the best radio waves come to you from... You have reached dial a curse. Please stand by. All our lines are busy. As soon as one of our lines is free, you will be connected with today's curse. He or she smells like a bus. Of his or her physiognomy, it suffices to say that since it occupies a position on the front of his or her head, it must be a face. If fashion law is ever enforced, he or she faces a life sentence without hope of parole. Hey ho, this is uh, Guthrie Thomas. I was going to say, if you're not listening to KFAT Radio, you're 
you're listening to the wrong station. This is the station to listen to. People like John Hartford, Ramblin' Jack, Charlie Redd, and Guthrie Thomas listen to KFAC. Hello, compadres. This is Cornell Hurd with his Mondo Hot Pants Orchestra telling you that you're listening to the fat one. KFAT Gilroy 94.5 Howdy folks, Cousin Al here for Laraway Chevron Station. Laraway's is located on Camden Avenue, just off Highway 17, and is a full-service service station. They not only do the lube and oil and all that stuff, but they take care of your car in all the ways, like brakes and tune-ups and mufflers, and they even do undercoating. You know that stuff they spray underneath your car. Laraway's has been in business for over 20 years, and they do know what they're doing. Stop by and say howdy to Bill or Martin or Buddy or, or Jess, the chief mechanic there. In fact, ask just to show you that trick he does with the box wrench. That's Lara Waste Chevron Station, the full service service station on Camden just off Highway 17. And tell them Cousin Al sent you by. This is Fat Radio, struggling up from the ashes one more time. Oh, hello there. I'm Newton Ames talking to you on behalf of the Monolithic Oil Corporation about today's energy situation. You know, if we all just sacrifice a little, we can pull together to beat the current problems of not enough energy. And Monolithic is doing its part by killing most of the birds that nest around our beautiful oil refineries. Birds eat up a lot of food. And as everyone knows, food takes energy to grow and prepare. So the fewer birds there are, the less energy will be wasted. This is Bonnie Raitt, and I want you to keep your dials turned to KFAT. This is the Dung Gone Band. Stay tuned to KFAT in Gilroy for the best country in the country. Get one now. Everybody has one. They're almost gone. They're portable, lightweight, easy to use, collapsible, convenient, and guaranteed. Get one now. The new Super Jumbo Deluxe. Handy, pre-wrapped designer colors and available in all sizes. Get one now. They won't rust, tarnish, blister, crack, or peel, but they might kill you. Advertising turns people off. This is Horace Enright, the Anti-Advertising Foundation, reminding you that advertising is basic to the obscene and distasteful American way of life. Do not pay any attention to advertisements. Close your ears and your eyes when you are exposed to advertisements. Do not allow advertisements to infiltrate your consciousness. This is Horace Enright of the Anti-Advertising Foundation. This announcement presented as a public service by the Closed Consciousness Anti-Advertising Federation. Chuck Wagon and the Wheels. You're, You're listening to Laura Ellen's fine program on, on KFAT Radio. Gilroy. <laughs> Gilroy. Gilroy. <laughs> the joint went up. Oh. KFAT in Gilroy. Ah, this is Chuck with Chuck Wagon in the Wheels, Tucson, Arizona. You're listening to KFAT Radio, Gilroy, California. Gosh, Doc, don't you think you're drinking too much? Combining the classics of then with the music of now, Sodomy Records presents the best of Disco Hank. 
That's right. Now you can be the first on your block to own this exclusive collector's item, recorded just a few short weeks before Hank's untimely death. Genius is gone, but his music lives on in this dynamic new collection from Sodomy Records. Hear the brand new arrangement of. If you love me as I love you. Or how about this classic masterpiece? Will make you free. 24 great hits in all. Now arrangements for today's Now Generation. Remember this classic? Send $3.95 cash check or money order today to Disco Hank, Sodomy Records, Tower of Babel Building at 859 Armageddon Boulevard, Comfort Station, Kansas. Order before midnight tonight and we'll also include the 12 original classics of Disco Bob Wills. Deep within my heart lies a melody, a song. Don't delay. Order today. Send three ninety five to Sodomy Records. Rogers and Bergen saying that when we're in Gilroy, we listen to KFAT 94.5 on your FM dial. Gilbert. Hi, folks, this is Bobby Bear, and my heart cries for the fat heads that ain't going to be listening to K Fat no more. I'm just disgusting, and today I'm in a great mood. I'll tell you why. First of all, I slept in late. So when I woke up at 3 a.m., I felt extra refreshed. I took the snakes out of my waders and went out off of the back porch into the swamp where I caught the fish that I'm going to cook up for you today. This here's a real special kind of fish, but you won't find it anywhere but in the bayou. It's called the Louisiana butthead. Now, the butthead is weird-looking little fish. Let me pull it out of the bucket and show you. You see? And it's got this big mouth. Only instead of going from side to side, the butthead's mouth goes from his forehead to his chin. And he also got these two big old cheeks. That's so he can hold his breath when he gets taken out of the swamp. Now, watch what happens when I put this guy back in the bucket of water. See that? The Louisiana butthead starts breathing again. Tell you the truth, the butthead ain't a hard fish to catch at all. Just follow the bubble trail. Now to prepare it for cooking, you want to just keep it whole. As you can see, there's no skin off my butthead. Then you want to... Oh, looks like we're out of time for today. I'll save this for you next time on the Cajun Kitchen with your old pal, Justin. <laughs> KFAT Gilroy. The People's Choice. My name is David Hayes, and I hang around the OK Club on Monterey Street, and I just don't listen to K Fat. Oh, we must have an hour. Don't ask why. Hi, I'm Bob 
done. Remember those fabulous 60s, the marches, the beans, the draft card burnings, and best of all, the music. Well, now Apple House has collected the finest of those songs on one album called Golden Protest, performed by the original artists who made them famous. You'll thrill to Society's Child by Janicean, Pleasant Ballet Sunday by The Monkees, What Have They Done to the Rain by The Searchers, In the Ghetto by Elvis Presley, Silent Night, 7 O'Clock News by Simon and Garfunkel, and who can ever forget this all-time classic? Yes, it's Barry McGuire's immortal Eve of Destruction. And, of course, my own Masters of War, all for the incredibly low price of $3.95. And if you order now, you'll also receive a treasury of acid rock featuring vanilla fudge, blue chair, frigid pink, Moby Grape, the electric prunes, Jefferson Airplane, Lothar and Hand People, to name but a few. Plus, as part of this special limited offer, you also get the best of the supergroups with Traffic, Cream, Blind Faith, Ginger Baker's Air Force, and many, many others. Yes, this is a collector's dream, gold in protest, plus two fabulous 60s albums, all for only $3.95. If you were to purchase these selections separately, they'd cost you hundreds of dollars, and many cannot be found anywhere at any price. Well, it's time for my boot heels to be wandering. But here's something that'll tell you how you can get this amazing record package. Here's how to order this amazing record package. Just send $3.95 and check your money order plus your name and address to Apple House Box 70K South Bend, Indiana. Once again, that's $3.95 and check your money to Apple House Box 70K. Do it today. More excitement right after this word. Well, I'll be. It's a fat gram. Fat gram. Let's say to not to say, but to say it is as we run from morning light into the sun. The petal of rose asked me once how I treated the steps as we talked. But I say I thank you for your conquest to what the answer may be. I only know that if you generally feel love in any degree, the grass will neither fl fade or flourish. Only love and remorse to some sky reachers will remain. Hi, this is the old Cosmic Cowboy here talking at you. I just want to say something to that army punk that just called up. And the people that burn their draft cards aren't necessarily scared. They're facing a lot doing that. I mean, I've been there. I've been in that army. And I don't blame them for doing what they're doing. Go for it, man. You can go for it by making your very own Fat Gram. Just call 378-FAT-1 in San Jose. A recording will tell you how your Fat Gram can even be the Fat Gram of the month. That's 378-FAT-1. Earl Hager for KFAT in Gilroy, California. Okay, big deal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Paul Decatur in the house, Roger. We have Yo, to take that. Let me have a tape saying, okay, <laughs> take this right now. Okay, let me see. I'm going to say it a couple times. Hi, this is Paul Decatur in the house, Rockers, listening to the blues on k Paul, you can Shh, just to say I'm taping. Hello everybody, this is Bob Brosman speaking for myself and also for the Cheap Suit Serenaders. We just want to thank the Fat One for bringing the good music to the public and we hope the Fat One will rise again. Oh, hello. Uh, my friend Goofy wanted to say something to you. Come here, Goof. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. Oh, Phil. Hey, Fat, I uh, just wanted to say, uh, thank you, swell. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for calling the Bijou Triplex Theater, conveniently located a quarter mile downwind from the U.S. government pesticide test farm. So if you don't mind inhaling a little crop dust and fumes for a bug-free environment, we're your place. With plenty of free parking at the back of bar across the street. In Theater One, we are proud to present the first major summer hit of the season from the creators of Police Academy and Porky's comes this co-effort for the male adolescent in your family. Bad Comedy, Great Hooters, star nobody you ever heard of. Bad Comedy, Great Hooters is sure to be a teen hit of the summer. In 
Stand to we are proud to present Woody Allen's latest production set in Upper East Side, New York, and starring Mia Farrell in great comedy, Bad Hooters, shot in black and white for that artsy feel, great comedy, Bad Hooters, is a sure bet not to make a dime. And in Theater 3, we are proud to present Arnie Schwarzenegger as the designer of the Pinto, who teams with the designer of the Etzel in Total Recall. Thank y'all for calling the Bijou Triplex Theater. Uh, a double cheeseburger, uh, onion rings, and a uh, large orange drink, please. A cheeseburger, a large orange drink. Did you get my order? That's one large cheeseburger, one onion ring, one onion ring, one onion ring. A double cheeseburger, onion rings, and a large orange. Okay? One onion ring, one onion ring. No, cheeseburger, a double cheeseburger, onion rings, and a large orange drink. Here is Florian Vard and Hendrik Hasse from KFAT Gilroy. Hey, listen. Because KFAT is the greatest in the world, even in Germany. <laughs> okay. In the humid valley surrounding southern Ohio's famous Mill Creek, the sights and sounds of industry are everywhere. Here, mighty factories produce large quantities of soap, hand lotion, and toilet bowl cleaner. Giant chemical processing plants churn out toxic substances by the hundreds. Across the way, the city's largest meat packer slaughters its cattle and swine to prepare it for sale to the public. From companies like these, cascading brooks and little waterfalls of industrial waste are carried to the fuming, foamy Mill Creek below. It is here that the Tree Frog Brewing Company draws the water to brew its distinctive beer. Little wonder that the bottles of Tree Frog are colored green to remind you of Tree Frog's urban industrial home and to camouflage the toxic products inside. One taste will tell you why the Mill Creek water prohibits Tree Frog beer from tasting like much. But it's this same water that helps Tree Frog get you there faster. Tree Frog Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Don't you think skiing's kind of dumb? You get up on top of a slippery mountain with sleds on your feet and you go down. Big deal. <laughs> Try not to. I mean, is this happening or is it the hash? This is KFAT in Gilroy, the garlic capital of the world. <laughs> Used to be, people just threw up sheetrock walls, slapped a coat of paint on them, and let it go at that. But now the market for wall coverings is expanding, creating a need for skilled craftsmen who know how to install wall coverings properly. And now you have a chance to take advantage of that need. The School of Wall Coverings offers you an opportunity to acquaint yourself with this unique and interesting field in a one-week course beginning soon. Two professional instructors will educate you in the procedures and techniques involved in installing wall coverings. You'll learn about the different types of materials you'll need and the different uses for them. Whether you take the course to become a professional craftsman or to just save money beautifying your own home, you will have developed your skill after only one week. This one-week course is limited to 10 people. You must be 18 years or older. Call area code 408-395-3440 now for complete information. Whether you're interested in developing a career or just beautifying your own home, call 408-395-3440. 
the School of Wall Coverings, 805 University Avenue in Los Caros. This is Father Guido Sarducci talking to you on KFAT. I'm sorry the Pope doesn't listen to this station because it doesn't reach Italy, but you can be assured that if he lived in the United States, he wouldn't listen to it too. Hi, I'm Merle Haggard between the Jake's your FM dial. Under the rules and regulations of the Federal Communications Commission, the boss of this here radio station can be fined $10,000 and sentenced to 10 years in a federal prison for not painting or transmitting the tower in the officially approved way. You, as a listener, should know that FCC Regulation 17.23 can also hold you responsible for listening to any station with the tower not painted in accordance with your particular demographic profile. Red towers are for mongoloid. White is for Navy and Marine pilots. Green is for incorrigible criminals. And blue is for beatniks. Unpainted towers are the exclusive set that listens to fat radio. Name Drooling idiots, hippies, and bedwetting commie fascist pinkos. Make sure you know what color is painted on the transmitter tower of your choice before you listen. It just might save your life. Hi, I'm Merle Haggard between the Jake's your FM dial. <laughs> Howdy, I would just like to say how a K-Fat t-shirt changed my life. Before I bought one, I was a failure with women. I couldn't get a date if my life depended on it. I had this dull, dead-end job scrubbing skid marks off the jet runways at San Jose Airport. Then one day, I bought a KFAT t-shirt, and just two weeks later, I wore it out in public. Now, beautiful women throw themselves at me so much, I have to beat them off with a wet noodle. And I got offered this new and exciting job waxing the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, whenever I go to garlic restaurants, I get the best seats in the house. Why, even my dog likes me again. Getting a K-Fat t-shirt was sure a good thing for me. It shows that I'm part of a rare breed, not just another punk rock groupie or disco pussy. Change your life with a fat t-shirt and wear it in public. How can you get one? Well, here's how... You know what happened to me the other day? Uh, no. What happened? Uh, you know, I went to my dentist, you know what I mean? I went over there and I told him I had yellow teeth. And you know what he told me? No, what did he say? He told me to wear a brown tie. Oh, 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 that's a good one. Hey, I got one. You want to hear? Sure, why not? Uh, what's a thin man listen to on the radio? I don't know. What does a thin man listen to on the radio? Oh, he listens to KFAT going K-Fat. <laughs> hey, that's not funny. will break and you awake. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. Now go, cat, go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoe. You can do anything you can lay off of my blue suede shoe. Hi, this is Carl Blue Spray. Don't step on my shoes, Perkins. Inviting you to do what you're doing right now. Stay tuned to a great radio station here in Gilroy, KFAT. 945 on the FM dial. You can do anything to lay off of my Blue Spray shoes. Hello, boys and girls. This is Bozo from the Under the Sea. Say hello, Mr. Swordfish, for KFAT. All right, Groovers. I know what you're doing out there. You're cruising. You're laying back. You're trying to get high. You want a little rush from some music. Well, this is the Commander on the Fat Radio, 94 and a half in Gilroy. Get ready to rock. Hello, and thank you for calling the Bijou Triplex Theater, where due to an unfortunate rash of vandalism, we have hired armed guards with laser night scopes to shoot on sight any and all patrons who ruin the seat backs by putting their feet up or stick chewing gum under them. The management invites you to go ahead and make our day. And otherwise, enjoy the show. Today in Theater One, Robert De Niro is a fugitive from justice with an affinity for a nice, dry, white table wine in Blue Nun on the Run. In Theater 2, the star of Hawaii Five-O is shipwrecked with a bunch of brats where no one bathes for over three weeks. He's called Jack Lord of the Flies. 
And in Theater 3, Danny DeVito is the shortest defector in the Soviet submarine fleet in the runt on the Red October. Thank y'all for calling the Bijou Triplex Theater. <laughs> Gilroy, subversive country. This is Bozo Radio, KFAT Gilroy. You know, I think, uh, I think we're all bozos on this bus. <laughs> Fat, fat, K fat. Deliciously different marijuana. Deliciously different marijuana. Deliciously different marijuana. That's what you get with genuine Paraquat cured smoke from the same good folks who made the Neutron Bomb possible. Uncle Sam Industries. While other defoliants may be just as effective in destroying the plant, only Paraquat can give you that exclusive buzz which takes you higher than the last time you shot Drano. Make sure the next lid you score has been treated with genuine Paraquat. Except no substitutes. DMT, PCP, 2,4-D, they all have their places, but none can compare to the degree of permanent lung damage that genuine U.S. Industries Paraquat can give you. So remember, next time you score, be sure to ask your favorite dealer, is it Paraquat? If he says no, beware. It might be a cheap substitute. Be sure it's the genuine defoliant cure prohibited from use in declared war. Paraquat from Uncle Sam Industries. Your tax dollars at work. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, I tell you, it's going to be a big time. You got to get out there to Fremont Raceway. Top double A dragsters, nitro fuelers. Oh, you're going to see a whole lot of lassies with classy chassis. Oh, I spit all over myself. Hi, this is Charlie Red, the mother load minstrel from Angel's Camp. The real gold in California is KFAT Radio. Keep listening. Going down to Gilroy, don't stay alive. Going to tune in KFAT 94.5. If you like good good grass, spoken country rock, tune in KFAT, you never come in back. John and Linda, we like being alive, we listen to KFAB 94.5. said to yourself, I would like a career in radio announcing? If the answer to that is yes, then you're going about it in the wrong way. You should say it to someone else. What does it take to become a radio announcer? Well, actually, it takes many things. Do you own your own voice? Can you say six silly words without laughing and mean them? Do you have a lot of money? 
Well, if so, you qualify for enrollment in the Golden Voice Announcer School. I'll bet that you'd never guess from the sound of my voice that I am actually a 67-year-old deaf-mute woman. And on your newsstand now, and you can't afford to miss it. A new and exciting magazine, Knife. That's K-N-I-F-E, the magazine that stabs back. Articles in the first exciting collector's issue include How to Run Out of Money and Breath at the Same Time by country singer George Jones, The Techniques of Home Recording by Richard M. Nixon, formerly titled Is It Millhouse or Is It Memorex? Daddy Never Met David Allen Coe by Will Rogers, Jr. I Thought Angel Dust was a Movie Star by Johnny Paycheck. Tips for the New Bride by Tammy Wynette and a special book bonus, Saturday Night Fever, Sunday Morning Pneumonia by John Travolta. So hurry while they last. That's Knife. K-N-I-F-E, the magazine that stabs back. The Fat One has done for radio what four years this did to your gym shoes. The Fat One, saying a great big howdy to no Captain Bisco radio, and the Raisin the fat people. One. We're only in it for the money. You're listening to The Fat One. Right out of your radio and on to the floor. Hello, fat friends. This is KFAT Radio, fries, The Fat splits, One, inviting you cherries, to get naked and, and gravy, dance on the kitchen dip, table. Cold this beer, is KFAT Radio. Gilroy. Ever heard of a station called KFAT? What is it? Uh, Progressive's Country Western. Uh, I don't think so. No. Haven't heard of it, huh? No.